Okay, in this video, will a $20 gun Okay, so I'm back, guys. Sorry for the long break in videos. Been very busy with work. Uh, got winter coming in. <laughs> Splitting, cutting firewood like crazy. Uh, undercoating, doing all kinds of stuff. But you're not here to hear about that. We're here to check out this. I bought this years ago. This is a Moss 1936 Santa Fe 1949. So they were imported by the Santa Fe Company, I do believe, or Golden State Arms Corporation, Pasadena, California. So what they did, they got a bunch of surplus 36 moss and they sporterized them. So I believe that's the original buttstock, it looks like it. They modified the foregrip, uh, you can tell. Whacked the barrel down to uh, 16, 16, 17, 8, 16 to 17 inches, I do believe. My buddy John, at Alloy 211, he did a video on his where he took the safety off, but somebody already beat me to this one. I'll link his video on there if you guys want to see it taken apart. I'm not going to be taking this one apart today. We will be seeing what she does. Uh, and hind, or full discretion here, I, I know this gun kills. I actually killed a few deer with this thing. Not going to lie, because it is, it's small and stupid, and I only paid 20 bucks for it. I mean, that was years ago. Uh, one very interesting thing, I have never seen another one beside John's Alley 211, his. Even on YouTube, I, I don't think I've ever seen another Santa Fe. I did another video on it, maybe even a couple before, but it shoots a very powerful round. It's 7.5 by 50, 54, not R, French. Uh, it's basically a 308, uh, 139 grain bullet, very comparable. You cannot shoot 308 or any other ones out of this. Some people do convert them to 308. I'm not sure what all entails. Maybe born out the chamber. Maybe born the barrel just a hair. I'm not sure. I'm not going to do it because you can still get French ammo. It's definitely getting harder. But this is PPU. I think I paid like 25 bucks locally at a gun store, which ain't you know too hateful. I'm not shooting a lot out of this thing. We will test the chrono first, the speed, and then got some water jugs and books, and it's going to be a quick little video on it. All right, quick couple things. Uh, if you notice, the locking lugs are in the rear of the bolt, so the front the front of the bolt kind of floats there. Not a very good setup, and the stock is extremely short. I mean, this thing for an American, like a big boy like me, she's hard to use. But you can see, it is a spicy round, and I measured that barrel. It's just under 17 inches. I believe John said it was uh, 16 and 5 eighths. This one does have no safety, and... I'm gonna try to get a chronograph reading. All right, I do have a full size one. I, I, I can't remember what they are, guys. So, dude, it's been years since I shot this. I'm not bad at all, actually. Uh, so, 2466. That's pretty good out of a 16, 17 inch barrel. Recoil. Uh, very pleasant man like I, said, I haven't shot this gun i was kind of afraid that she's gonna blow up being damn near 100 years old but nope she still fucks so let's uh set up some books and see what kind of penetration we get okay we got a few books set up there uh i want to say i'm man 25 feet away or so Ex extracted good she seems to be working so <sighs> I don't know, guys, if I can hit her in the face or not. I'll certainly try. Just a hair to the right, but elevation, perfect. Let's go check it out. Sounds like uh, some other brothers and sisters are shooting up the shoot range. Another reason, too, we have hunting season. A lot of my neighbors and stuff hunt up here, so I don't like to, I don't like to be that guy but blasting fucking books with high pod rifles. Uh, okay, so yeah, she went through three. That was a new book. Went through four. Went through there. Did it get a hold of oh. Dude, guys. I mean, look at that power. I thought that might happen. But I was like, that's that's a good bit of books, man. I forget what a 308 will do. But that's that's pretty impressive. I mean, because that one went the whole way straight through. It just... And that's regular lead ammo. 
I have steel, steel core. I don't think I have any armor piercing, but that's pretty impressive. So let's see what it does to the water. Okay, now we got two two liters and four one gallon jugs of water. Uh, I'm hoping it goes through all of them so I can just throw them in the fire pit and not have to worry about it. This gun is running amazing. So we'll see me guys in here a little bit. There you go. And let's see what happens. It appears we got a good hit. Let's go see. Definitely didn't go through all of them. Try to aim it a little bit different, a little bit good. I think it hit. It looks like it hit a dead nut center. There's that one. Because it only went through. I mean, it annihilated. Oh, where the hell? Oh, it's way down here. <laughs> Annihilated that one. Yeah, perfect center hit. And she's shooting pretty good. I mean, we're only that far away. I would like to. I was gonna take. I was gonna take it to the range. Maybe started going to the right some. That's what it looks like it probably did. That's what I think it happened. Kind of went in there, started going to the right. But I wanted to take it. I'll do that. If you guys like this gun, like this video, I'll take his range and <laughs> see what kind of grouping we can get with it. I couldn't even imagine what kind of grouping. So, that's it, guys. I'll end it off. I'll shoot these here. I'll put a camera there. Thanks for watching. I do have some new videos coming very soon. I got a lever action video, a couple cool lever guns, uh, and I think another 50, 50 cal video. Because I've just been very busy. I'll get back to it as soon as I can because I really enjoy this. And it's nice out today. It is a beautiful day before the winter gets. It's like 60, 60, 69 degrees. It's like perfect. So thanks for watching, guys. And we'll shoot these here. Okay, so that worked out good. I got one round left here. Camera's still in the holder, so why not? I got that rock set up there. And let's just see if she will take out El Rocco. Let me try to do me guys in. There we go, right about there. <laughs> yeah. She split it in the forehead with some rock. Ah, oh, try to be cool. All right, thanks for watching, guys.